everybody. I want to say hello to all my subscribers and my friends. Uh, I finally got myself situated in our new home, and I'm back online now, and everything's A-OK. -okay. Hey, um, there's something I need to put out this morning, and I've been praying about it now for a couple days, because I wasn't sure if the Lord wanted me to put it out, and if He did, and I didn't know if I should send it to someone else and have them put it out, and um, I've contacted a few of you and uh, gave you this kind of stuff, hoping that you would put this stuff out, but um, I haven't seen it. So I don't think that I can wait any longer. I was reading from Proverbs 15 today, and it happened to mention in there about um, putting some sort of knowledge out. I, I can't quote it right now. My Bible's in the other room. So, well, let's go. I'm just going to tell you. <clears throat> So, here's the thing, guys. Am I nervous about putting this information out? Yes. Do I think that it might cause some harm to me? Yes. These are one of those situations where you must ask God and pray about it really hard. Should I do this or should I not? But if I don't do it, some lives could be lost, and I, I really don't want to see that happen. You can't see my heart right now, but it's beating a thousand times a minute. Okay. Um, I went away this weekend for a drill and found out some interesting information. Okay. Um, some of the guys that drill with me happen to be CHP officers, uh, L.A. County sheriffs, and... and uh, LAPD and uh, some of the stuff that they were putting out to us or at least to my friend he was putting out some things that about how they're training right now on um, running roadblocks quarantine and there's a video that was out recently that talked about shackles that uh, it's actually a bracelet that gets put on your right hand and uh, somehow pinned into your hand and it's meant to stay there forever. And it, it tells them that you've taken the swine flu vaccine. And if you don't have a bracelet, you'll be given the opportunity at the checkpoint to take the swine flu vaccine. And if you don't take it, you'll be boarded onto a bus to a concentration camp. What bothers me is a good number of the people are unaware of this and the people that, some of the people that I spoke to isn't really concerned, they'll just go ahead and take the swine flu vaccine. Um, I don't know why the information is not getting out to everybody. Somehow they think that by taking the swine flu vaccine they could avoid um, going to this, these camps, they can avoid um, any harsh penalties. But I'm telling you now, you take the swine flu vaccine, then you have already condemned yourself. I must tell you that one of my sister units that are up there with me, and my friend happened to take pictures of it. I mean, it's got the got the paperwork that came with it and it's also got the RFID tracking device when we he, he photographed both sides of it for you so I'm going to attach that to this video so that you guys could read through it and see it please feel free to take this video and repost it and repost it and repost it feel free to um, ask me for those the, the pictures that were taken, give me your email address, I'll send them to you so that you can have them and you can see them. It says very plainly on the paperwork that they're meant to be placed on fence posts, uh, personnel, vehicles, basically to mark you. And um, these are brand new. And I'll also post a link on the side where you can read up on it as well. This is the part that really shocked me about us receiving these little tiny chips. It's not, we're not getting the shackles right away. We're getting these little, 
little device is almost see-through, okay, which contains, well, you'll see it and you'll read it. And it, it just really bothers me. Now, I understand by putting this out, I'm breaking protocol, okay. I want you folks to know, just because we wear a United States Army or U.S. Marine or any branch of service, just because we wear that patch doesn't mean we're going to follow an illegal order. Okay? There are many of us, many, who took that oath that we swore to when we joined very seriously. Very, very seriously. Now, for those of you that are in the military, remember your oath? What did it say? I swear to uphold and protect the United States Constitution against enemies both foreign and domestic. Okay? By doing this, they're violating our Constitution and don't think they won't come get your guns because they will because they have to do that first. They have to do that first before any of this stuff goes down. Okay? Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? Please listen to what I'm saying. I'm not full of it. I'm not making this up. I'm not fear-mongering. I'm telling you 100% the truth. Okay? They are going to do this. They are going to do this. Alright? I know now, at least for this area, October 15th is the first set of the swine flu shot. And then November 15th is the second set of the swine flu shot. Okay? You know, I want to tell you if something happens to me between now and then, and you don't see me anymore, then you know that this video fell into the wrong hands. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to let them do what they got to do to me. And that's okay. But I'll see all you good people again, all you Christians. You know I'll see you again. That oath that I took, I didn't make that oath to our U.S. government. I made that oath to God. At the end of it, you say, so help me God. And when you make a promise to God, you better keep it. You better keep it. Because he's going to hold you accountable. I, I'm sorry about being so serious. I don't want you guys to worry about me. Take care of your families. Inform your friends. Okay. Standing up and taking action. Just get to a safe place. Right? That stop the vax thing. They're going to ignore that like they ignore everything else. They must follow through on this agenda. They must follow through on this agenda. It is in their heads. It is in the making. And do it. Okay? God bless you all. May he keep you safe. Take care.